Okay, we are going to discuss the sugya of Sveika Doraita Lechumra. The Gemara and Beitza on Daf Gimel Mudbet discusses a case of Beitza Shinolda Be Yom Tov Obi Shabbat, and there's dispute whether the Isur is an Isur Doraita or an Isur Dorabanan. So the Gemara says. Sfeko Asur. If you have a safek, whether it was Nolad on Shabbat or Yom Tov, it is Asur. So the Gemara says, Bishlam ala Raba, the Amar Mishum Hachana. According to Raba, who says that Beit Shenolda Yom Tov is Asur because of Hachana, which is a Sfeka Doraita, Havi Sfeka Doraita, the whole Sfeka Doraita, Luchumra. El Rav Yosef, Rav Yitzchak, the Amri Mishum Gzeira, but according to the opinion that holds that it's Mid Rabbanan, Sveka Dor Rabbananu, V'chol Sveka Dor Rabbanan, Lekula. So this is the famous principle which appears in a number of places, that Sveka Dor Oraita is Lechumra, and Sveka Dor Rabbanan is Lekula. The Rambam, his famous uh, Shita, which uh, we're going to discuss in depth, the Rambam says in Hilchot Tumat Meit, Perek Tet, Halacha Yud Bet, the last Halacha in the Perek, he says as follows, Davar Yadua, Shekol Elu HaTumot V'Kayotzei Behen, Shehein Mishum Safek, the whole Perek here talks about Safek Tumah um, in terms of a, a mate getting... Uh, the body of a dead person getting lost in a sadeh, and that generates a safek. So all these cases of safek, which um, which we say are asur, harei hein shel divrehem, they are asur only midur abanan. Ve'ein tamei min ha-Torah, elamishinitma tumah vada'it. A person is only tamei midur raita, if they are tamei bivadai. Aval kol hasvekot. Now he jumps from tuma to all svekot. Kol elu hasvekot. I'm going to read this the entire Rambam now. We're going to come back to various points in it. Aval kol hasvekot. Bein bitumot. Bein b'machalot asurot. Bein b'arayot v'shabatot. Ein choshin lahem ela midivrei sofrim. Kamo shebe'arnu bilchot isrei biyav v'kama mekomot. V'afal pichein, and here there are different girsaot. I'm reading according to the girsa that appears in Chapter Frankel. V'afal pichein, davar shechayavim al zdono karet, sveko asur min ha-Torah, shehare oseoto chayav ba'asham talui, k'mo shebe'arnu b'hilchot shgagot. So the Rambam says here that kol ha-svekot are only asur mi derabanan. Sveka do right the Luchumra is itself a principle of the So the way you summarize that is Sveka do right the Luchumra mi okay. uh, This is not the prevalent shita. The uh, the Rashba in Masechet Kiddushi in Daf Ayin Gimel Amid Aleph quotes this shita of the Rambam. And he has four questions. Um, in this context, I want to relate to two of them. Okay? But let's see what all four questions are. The first question is, the Kashali Tuva, the Imkain, if the Rambam is right, Azale Asham Talui, then we lose the Halakha of Asham Talui. The Halakha of Asham Talui is that if a person is over chiyuv karet b'safek, they have to bring a korban. They have to bring an asham talui. If it was vaday, so if it was b'shogeg, so they have a chatat. But if it's b'safek, so they have an asham talui. It's impossible to say that a person requires kapara for something which is mutar min ha-Torah. So the fact that a person has to bring an asham talui if they're over a safek, um, Indicates that Sveka Doraita is Luchumra mi Doraita. It's Asumi Doraita. It's not a Vadai, so you need a different Kapara, but you need a Kapara, and that's the Din of Asham Talui. Okay? So that's the, the first question. The second question is 
V'od, midamrin b'perek kama de mechilten, in the first perek of Kiddushin, we have the halacha which says, or la b'chutz l'aretz halacha Moshe misinai, that the din of uh, the Isser or la applies in chutz l'aretz as well, not only in Eretz Yisrael, but by virtue, not of the psukim in the Torah, but by virtue of halacha Moshe misinai. So then he continues to quote the Gemara of Akshinan, and the Gemara then asks on that, Vatnan Safik Orla Be'eret Yisrael Asur Besuria Mutar. So you see the fact that in Chutzlaret, Surya, Chutzlaret, um, Safik Orla Chutzlaret is Mutar. So how could you say that Orla in Chutzlaret is Asur Halachal Moshe Misinai, which would indicate that it's Minha Torah? How could you say that if in Chutzlar it's a safek is mutar? And what does the Gemara answer? The Gemara answers that that is the that's part of the halacha Moshe Misinai of of Orlan Chutzlar. Orlan Chutzlar is asur. Safek Orlan Chutzlar is mutar. That's part of the halacha Moshe Misinai. Were it not for that special halachal mishmi sinai, we would treat suffolk oral and chutzlar, it's like any sveika da oraita, and we'd go to chumra. But suffolk oral and chutzlar is an exception to the rule. And even though it's asur halachal mishmi sinai, which is equivalent to da oraita, that's the assumption here, th despite that, the suffolk is mutar. Okay? That's the second question. Um, which would go, the question is that the Ramam would hold that every safek is mutar, and you don't need halach lomosh misinai to tell you that a safek is mutar, min ha-Torah. Okay? Um, the third question is from the first parak of Chulin. Va'od, the Rashba continues, midba'inan beparak kama de Chulin, yud alef amir alef, ruba v'chazaka midda'oraita minalan, so the Gemara in Chulin discusses various instruments in um, alleviating or dealing with cases of safek. And the Gemara says that if you have a rov, if you have a statistical majority, or if you have a chazaka, by continuing the status quo, that will, um, we can use those instruments to tell us what to do in the case of a safek. But why should you need those instruments? If safek is lakula, so you don't need a rov lakula to tell you to go lakula. Mida oraita, and the the, the psukim are, uh, are the gemara looks for mida uh, oraita sources for rov and chazaka. That's his third question, and the fourth question is from the case of safek mamzer. The gemara says as follows with regards to safek mamzer. The gemara in kiddushin das ayin gimel amud aleph. The gemara says as follows. Amar rava. Dvar Torah Shtuki Kasher. Okay. The Mishnah talks about um, which uh, categories of people are Asurim Lavo Bakahal. And the, Gemara, the Mishnah lists Shtuki. Shtuki is a person who we don't know who their father is, so there's a question as to their Kashrut Lavo Bakahal, because maybe the father was Pasul, and the Pasul gets carried on to the next generation. And the reason it's called a shtuki is when the, when he asks, or when somebody asks, who's his father? We say, Shah, don't talk about it. Okay? So a shtuki is kasher, midvar Torah shtuki kasher. Min torah even though there's a safek, a shtuki is kasher, lavo kaha. My tama, so Gemara says, why is it mutar? So we say, rov kasheri mitzla, umi'ut psulim mitzla. We know the mother. The mother, she herself is Kshera, right? If, we, if she was Psula, there would be nothing to talk about. So she's Kshera. Now, we want to know who's the father. So most men in the world who are part of her universe are Kshera In other words, if they had relations with her, they are Kshera. In other words, most men are not Mamzerim, and most men are not her brother, father, or son. Yeah? So Rov Kshera Umiut psulim etzla. There are some men who are pasul for her. Vei azli inhu legaba. If they go to her, called the parish miruba parish. So here we have the principle of rov. Where did this man come from? This man was parish min rov. The rov, the the 
universe of men is outside of her home, so to speak. And they came to her, so they left their set. And we say, called the parish, Miruba parish. They probably belong to the group of the rove, and the rove is Kshir Mitzla. Okay, that's Migda Orait. Okay. Ah, the Gemara continues, my Amrit, but what about the following situation? Dilma Azla il Gabayu. But there's another possibility. Maybe she left her home and went to them. And if that's the case, it's Kavua. Because they're in the city that she went out and she had relations with some man in the city. So there's a Kavua presence of, of a Pasul there. And that makes it Kemechts al Mechtsav. Havale Kavua. Vuchol Kavua, Kemechts al Mechtsadami. So we talked about this halacha already. Vatoram amra lo yavo. So what's the end? Lo yavo mamzer. Mamzer vaday hudu lo yavo. Ha mamzer safek yavo. Bekahal vaday hudu lo yavo. Ha bekahal safek yavo. So even in the case where it's a safek, it's mutar. Why? Because the Torah says lo yavo mamzer. And Chazal Adoresh, Mamzer Vadai, Hudolo Yavo. That, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how this indicates that. But Mamzer means definitely a Mamzer. So that's the Isser to Baba Kahal. But if it's a Suffolk Mamzer, so there's no prohibition. And with regards to the Kahal as well, if the Kahal is Vadai, so then Lo Yavo. But if the Kahal is a Suffolk, then Yavo. So one could say that this is, the, what, what do we derive from Mamzer? Not only the halacha that Safik Mamzer is mutam in Torah, but this maybe indicates all Sfeikot are mutam in Torah. Right? And one could say that the Rambam actually uses this as a source. But it sounds like, in all honesty, that this Gemara is an exception to the rule. Right? That there's a special drasha by Mamzer that tells me Safik Mamzer is mutar. Um, and that's the fourth question of the Rashabah. The Rashabah says, V'adarab adok mina bimidayek from this case of Suffolk Mamzer. Tama, the reason it's mutar, the gali kra, because the Torah tells me especially it's Suffolk Mamzer is mutar. Halo gali, the Torah didn't say that, afilu Suffolk Mamzer below yavo. Umimena, and from that we would should learn, l'choli surei Suffolk do raita. That all Sveik Adol right are the Chumrah. Mamzer is a Yotzei Min Akla. Right? And that's a simple, straightforward reading of the Gemara. Okay? Okay. So I would like to deal um, with three of these questions. Okay? I don't want to deal with the question of Rov and Chazaka, but I would like to deal with the question of Asham Talui, the question of Orla, and the question of Safik Mamzer. Okay? Let's talk about Suffolk Mamzer first. Okay. Um, the, what helps us here is something that the Maharit says. The Maharit is quoted by the, in the Shev Shmatata, Shmata Aleph, Perak Rishon. Um, the Maharit gave the following um, Terutz for the Rambam, which is very, very important for understanding uh, the nature of Safek, which we'll elaborate on as we go, as we move forward. Maharit tirates, the Chishay Rachmana Mamzer, Legamre Sharia, Shiye Betorat Vadai, Velo Betorat Safek. He says that it's true, Mamzer is different than other Sveikot. He doesn't deny the simple, straightforward reading of the Gemara. But, not the way you think. Even the Ramam could say that. Because when the Torah was Matir Mamzer, the Torah was Matir Mamzer, Misafek, in a different way than it was Matir other Sveikot. When the Torah was Matir Mamzer, he says, it was Matir Mamzer B'Torat Vadai. There's no Isser here at all. V'lo b'Torat Safek. And we're going to talk about what that means in a little while. Okay? V'naf kamina. Sh'yeh mutar b'vat Yisrael u'b'mamzeret b'vat achat. V'afal gab da'havi tarti d'satri. We have a, 
uh, we have uh, an anomalous situation where since the Torah was matir mamzer legamre, the Torah vadai, this person, in a sense, has no halachic identity when it comes to yuchsin. So he's mutar, because the safek goes both ways, right? A mamzer is mutar be mamzeret, and is a sur bebat Yisrael. A kasher is kasher bebat Yisrael, but a sur be mamzeret. So this person's a safek. So what is it? So if I say safek is mutar, the heter paradoxically goes in both directions. He's mutar bebat Yisrael because he's also safek mamzer, and therefore he's mutar to the bat Yisrael. But safek mamzer is mutar, but he's mutar to the mamzeret also because he's a safek. And maybe and the other side is that maybe he's a mamzer, right? So if the heter is b'torat vaday, I'm saying. This person is mutter all ac across the board. So he can actually, in the good old days before Chaim Rabbeinu Gershon, um, he could actually marry a mamzeret and a bat Yisrael, bevat achat. Even though it's a tati de satre, because there is a positive statement. It's that mamzer, suffix mamzer is mutar, in a sense is a new status. There's a new status here, which does not have the Isra Mamzer on the radar. Okay, so therefore, this person is Mutar, even in a case of a Tate de Satre, even in a paradoxical or a, con a self-contradictory situation. Okay? Um, the pre on Yoridea disagrees with this. He raises the question, and he disagrees with this. He says... This is the Prichadash in Klalei Sveik Sveika, page Taf Yud Bet. It's uh, Simon Aleph. He says as follows: Umiu ikalis fuke bahach milta. There's something which has to be clarified. Ki sharina le safek mamzer be mamzeret. When we say safek mamzer is mutubam be mamzeret vadait, o be Israelit or uh, or bat Yisrael kshera. Me name the Shari Rahmana Dafka Badalekatarti de Satran? Do we say that the Torah says permits it only when there's no contradiction? The e by me high linsiv, the e by me high linsiv, that he can marry either one, because in each case it's a suffix. But, but that's only if there's no contradic internal contradiction. Um Odilma or perhaps Af Bizakhar Zesharinle. Mishum de Zilhacha, Ika Sveika, Vizilhacha, Ika Sveika, Vichol Sveika, Rachmana, Sharia. Maybe you can marry both of them. Sharia Legamre. Okay? Um, he concludes as follows Avala Mishre, Tarti de Satran, Bechad Gavra, de Mimanach Shachkavidi Sura. To actually make it permissible that uh, one person should be able to marry both women, both the Bat Yisrael and the Mamzeret, um, in such a case the Torah was never matir. Okay? So we have a machloket, basically, um, between the Maharit and the, and the Pri Chadash, in the case of Suffolk Mamzer, whether the Torah said Suffolk Mamzer is Vadai Mutar, or Suffolk Mamzer is still is Mutar, but the Suffolk still remains. And again, I want to get back to that um, in a little while. But what comes out as far as uh, what's relevant here for the Rambam is that the Halakha of Suffolk Mutar in Kola Torah Kula, according to the Rambam, is different than Safek Mamzer. Safek Mamzer is Mutar in a much more far reaching manner than Kolatorakula. Kolatorakula, Safek is Mutar, but we'll see what this means, but it's still a Safek. Whereas in Safek Mamzer, it's Vadai Mutar. Okay? We have the same, a parallel issue when it comes to. Safek or La in Chutzlaretz. Okay, so we said that Safek or La in Chutzlaretz is Mutar, 
And the Gemara in Kiddushin on Daf Lametet said that that is um, Halacha Moshe Misinai. There's a Halacha Moshe Misinai tells me specially that especially that um, Safek or La is Mutar in Chutzlaretz. Okay, now. According to the Rambam, if every safek is mutar, so why do I need the halacha la Moshe Misinai to tell me about safek or la? So here uh, we have an analogous question um, as follows. Let's say um, we have, uh, according to the Rambam, that safek or sfekot are mutar min haTorah. So let's not talk about Gzerot Mid Rabbanan on the Doraita level. Suppose there's a piece of Nevela here, and you think it's Mutar. And I know that it's a Safek. Do I have to tell you that it's a Safek? That don't eat that, it's a Safek, it's Safek or Doraita Luchumra. Mid Rabbanan, right? So don't eat it. Do I have to tell you that it's a Safek? Or not? Um, or rather, wait, one second. The cases would be slightly different. The case would be, I'm sorry, this is the case. The case is, you know that it's a safek. It's a safek to you, but I know that it's really usra. That's the case, okay? There's a piece of, for you, a piece of meat and you know that it's a safek. For you, it's a safek. But I know that this piece of meat is, is vada in vela. So do I have to tell you? Because you were allowed, according to the Ram, I mean, you're allowed to eat it. So you, you can eat it. Because it's a safek. It's a fake midoraita, I'm only talking about, is mutar. But I know that it's asr. So do I have to tell you? So I, the answer for sure is, of course, I have to tell you. Because it's asr. I know that it's asr. And... Um, I have to inform you, I have to save you from the Issa. But what would be an analogous case if it wasn't Suffolk Nevela we were talking about, but Suffolk Orland Chutzlaretz? Namely, I have a fruit in front of me. You think that it's a Suffolk. I mean, for you it is a Suffolk. I happen to know that it's a Vadai Orla. But for you it's a Suffolk. Do I have to tell you? So here, the Shev Shmaita quotes the Ran. Is the Shev Shmaita in, Sh, in Shmata Aleph Perek Sheni? Okay. He says as follows Vaharan Katav, so Perek Yishiniknate, Bahad Sha'amru, Orla Bechutzlar, it's Halacha, it's Halacha Moshe Misinai, Vada'an Asur Svekan Muta. Okay. The Katav Allah, and the Ran said, referring to this, the Yesh Misha Ochichu Mizeh. She calls Sveikot Mina Torah Asur. There are those that, that prove from here that all Sveikot in the Torah are Asur because Suffolk Arla is an exception to the rule. De im lokein lamali halacha de Sveikan mutar. Why do you need to make a special halacha mishinai that say that Suffolk is mutar if Suffolk is always mutar? So it must be that Suffolk in general is Asur and only in Suffolk Arla and Chutzar it's a Suffolk mutar. So he says, Ve'eno ochacha. This does, it's not a proof. The Bekulu Sveke in all other Svekot, Afagab de Mutar in a Torah, Mikomakon, Mishi Yodea, Haisur, Asurli Tain Lechavero, Sheeno Yodea, Dover, Lifne Iver. Someone who knows that it's Asur in all other Isur, someone who knows that it's Asur cannot give the Isur to, to his friend. But, Uba Orla, Bechutzla Aretz, Halacha, this is different. It's a safek to you. I know that it's vade orla. But if you don't know, I don't have to tell you. So what does that mean? It means that safek is mutar legamre when it comes to safek orla. So, the, so here also, we can... Uh, what the Rambam... The, what, we can, what we can say for the Rambam is as follows. That... There are two different types of sveikot. We can really ask about the nature of sveikot. And let's just take a step back here. When I say safek is mutar, or for that matter, if I say safek is asur, right? 
there are two real, there are two ways of formulating it. Let's start with the Rashba. Okay, the Rashba says in Torah Tabait, by Dalit Shar Aleph, he says Umistabrali seems to me, Dikishamru when the Gemara says Sfeka do Oraita Luchumra. So first he argues on the Rambam that we know Dvar Torahu. It's min Torah that suffix is Aser. And then he goes further and he says, Desfeked de Oraita kevadai min Torah. The suffix is Asur, but it's Asur b'Torat Vadai. So what does that mean? In a sense, it means the suffix is definitely Aser. The fact that it's a suffix, in a sense, is history. How did it come to be Aser? So there's a history that something may have happened here, or I don't know where it came from, so it's a suffix. But the fact is, in the present, it is vadai asur. Okay? That's one way of formulating it. Okay? But there's another possibility, and this brings us back to, um, to the Rambam. Okay? Um, the Rambam says, let's go back to the Rambam in El Chotumat Meit. And read him very carefully and see what um, what sense this makes. So, Hilchat Tumat Meit, Perek Tet again, Halacha Yud Bet. The Rambam says, "Davar Yadua Shekol Elu Atumot Keotzei Behen Shehem Mishum Safei Karei Hain Shel Divrei Hain." The Ein Tamei Min HaTorah Ela Mishnitma Tuma Vadait. Aval. Now we have to listen carefully. Kol Asfeikot. Bain betumot, bain b'machalot asurot, in the rest of the Torah as well. Bain ba'arayot, v'shabatot, ein choshishin lahen ela mideis midivrei sofrim. These are all the iser of a safek is only midrabanan, and he says k'moshe biyan v'lechot yisrei biya uv'chama mekomot. And then he goes on. According to this girsa, there are those that are not goris. This this girsa was introduced. Uh, the Kesef Mishnah uh, brings it here. It says as follows: Va'afal piche. This is to answer the Asham Talui question. Va'afal piche. Davar shechayavim al zdono karet. Sveko asur min haTorah. Nonetheless, so an isur, which um, for which if you did it on purpose. Bezadon, bemezid, you would be chayav karet. The safek is asur min Torah. Why? Shahare haoseoto chayav basham talui. Kamo shebiyarnu bilchot shkagot. So, the Rambam here, in order to respond to the problem of asham talui, says, in other words, how can you have the uh, necessity for kapara if safek is mutar? So it must be that Safek is Asur Min HaTorah. So how do you get around that? So he says there's a distinction. If we're talking about Chiyuvei uh, Karet, then Safek is Asur Min HaTorah. If you're talking about Chiyuvim, um, which are not Karet, lesser Chiyuvim, then Safek is Mutar Min HaTorah. Okay? Now this idea is very interesting, even though it seems in all probability the Ramam never said it. You know, this girsa does not appear in Kitab Yad Cambridge. And the truth is, it's very hard to understand how anybody could give credence to this girsa. Um, even though there may be certain ways of looking at it, but I'm not going to get into it. But the simple, straightforward reading of this Rambam with the girsa makes no sense at all. Because the Rambam, now let's go back and read it again as a meditative experience. The Rambam says as follows. He says... Aval kol hasfeikot, bein bitumot, bein b'maachlot asurot, bein ba'arayot v'shabatot, ein choshin lahem ela midivrei sofrim. So what are these isurim that he's talking about? Ma'achlot asurot, okay, some ma'achlot asurot, are not chayav karet, but there are macholot asurot that are chayav karet. Dam, chaylev, okay? Bein ba'arayot, all arayot are chayav and karet. V'shabatot, melacha and shabbat is chayav karet, b'mezid. 
He says, Ein choshin lahem ela midivrei sofrim. That's the case of um, sfeka d'oraisa l'chumra only midirabanan. So how can he say afterwards that if it's a safek of uh, that shechayvim as dono karet sfeko asur min Torah? Okay. Um, I don't want to get into how we can answer the Rambam internally, um, but apparently this is an incorrect girsa. But nonetheless, I would like to use the svar okay, because the svar is very very important. The svara of drawing a distinction between the level of Isser, that if we're talking about a severe Isser, Sveika Dorai says, L'churma min Torah. If we're talking about a less severe Isser, Sveika Dorai is Mutar min Torah. So how can we understand that? If I say that there's a general principle that the Torah never asked Sveikot, if that's how the Ramam understands it, that, the, that a Sveik is Mutar, in a sense, there's no safek klape shmaya. The Torah doesn't talk about cases of safek. The Torah says, when the Torah says nevela is usher, it means vada nevela. Safek nevela is not nevela, in a sense. The Torah never asks it. It's mutar b'torat vadai. And um, there's nothing more to talk about. It's simply not on the radar screen. If that is a general principle in how I relate to cases of safek, then it is very difficult to distinguish between chivei karet and less severe isurim. Because it has to do with how I relate to a safek and what a safek is in the Torah. If the safek in the Torah is mutar, so it's across the board. However, there's another way, and that's, in a sense, the way the Rashba looked at it from the other direction. He said, safek, sveke doraita l'chumra, mi doraita, b'torat vadai. It's definitely Asr. Right? So Mutar, you could say, is definitely Mutar. Huh? But there's another way of looking at it. You could, and this would be as follows. When, I ha when I'm um, presented with a case of uncertainty, there's an issue in a sense of uh, risk management. Can I take a chance or can't I take a chance? Well, it depends what the downside is. But we take chances all the time. Right? Uh, you cross the street, chas v'chalila, people can get hit by a car. So is there a fake? Maybe it's a, so there's a 1% chance or a half a percent chance. So, but we take those, you're allowed to take a chance because the, down, the, the downside of not taking a chance is to stay locked in your house the whole day. So the, there's a question of risk management. So he, let's apply that here. If I distinguish between the level of severity of Isurim, what am I saying? I'm saying a safek, this is going to sound like a tautology, a safek is a safek. In other words, the fact that I have a safek here, an uncertain situation, it's not only that it's historically uncertain, but now it's mutar. I have right now, it may be this piece of nevela, this piece of meat may be nevela, and it may be kshera. And even if I say it's mutar, I, okay, even if it is mutar, I do not lose cognizance of the fact that I still have a safek. It's still not clear, because maybe it's nevela and maybe it's kshera. So the halacha is, can I take it? The question is, can I take a chance or not? So then I come along and I say, Sveika Doraita, Mi Doraita is Lakula. Minatori, you're allowed to take a chance. But if that's how I look at it, that it's still a safek, it's not mutar bitorat vadai. It's mutar, but it's still a safek. So then I can say, okay, what's the downside? So if the downside is a less severe prohibition, so I say, oh wait, you're allowed to take a chance. But if the downside is a more severe prohibition, if it's a chiyuv karet, I say, wait one second, this is more, a more dangerous situation. You're not allowed to take a chance. So this svara tells me okay, that the way I look at safek is that safek, according to the 
Rambam, when you talk about Safek is mutar, it's mutar bitorat Safek. It means you're allowed to take a chance. Okay? And in more severe situations, you're not allowed to take a chance. So in a sense then, you could say, according to the Rambam, that there are three different levels here. Okay? There's one level of the exceptions to the rule when you have a special limo that Safek is mutar like Mamzer or Safek Arla B'chutz Laretz, there, Safek is mutar b'torat v'adai. Okay? Um, then you have uh, Sfeikot, where the question is, are you allowed to take a chance? Because the Safek is not mutar b'torat v'adai. It's mutar, but it's still a Safek. So sometimes I say, the Safek is mutar, because you're allowed to take a chance. Sometimes I say, and that is Sveko Isurim, which are less chamor. And sometimes I say that Svekot are Asur, even though in general Safek is Mutam in the Torah, but there's certain Svekot which are more severe, where there I say it's too dangerous. Safek is Asur min the Torah. Okay? So that is a summary of. Um, of the fundamental ideas behind Sveka Doraita Lechumra.